There is a new CLI based AI coding agent, it's called Augie. Augie was recently released by Augment Code and Augment Code is a VS Code extension and this is probably one of the best AI coding agent out there because Augment Code has got huge context and when it comes to understanding your project, it just understands your project much better. So Augie is the new CLI based AI agent just like Cloud Code and Gemini CLI. I'm not a big CLI agent fan. I usually like the traditional IDE experience but these CLI agents have been in trend for a while now. So let's just see how good or bad this new CLI CLI agent Augie is because I'm personally impressed by Augment Code and actually the performance of Augment Code. So I don't know why they launched CLI agent, but let's just test it and see how good it is. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. So to download Augie CLI, you just need to run this command. So this is an NPM package and you just need to run this command to download Augie CLI on your computer. Just go to this URL docs.augmentcode.com slash CLI slash overview and in here you can just find this command. So just copy this command from here and then just go to your terminal, paste that command press enter and now it will start downloading augie cli so just like that now augie cli has been downloaded now what you can do just choose any folder and then just open augie cli inside that folder and then after that you can just like create any project inside that folder so currently i have this empty folder i'll just like write cd then add link of that like the address of that folder i'll just press enter and now i'm inside this folder and now what you need to do is just make sure that you log in with augie so you can just like copy this command from here augie dash login so just copy this command from here and then after that just run this command in here i have already logged in just make sure that you create an account on augment code and after that you can just log into augie so once you're logged in now you can just call augie by simply just a u g g i e just write augie and now augie will be called and now you can see augie has been initialized and now we can just like start giving it a prompt now you can just ask it to create anything similarly if you already have an existing project you can open augie directly inside that existing project because the repetition of augment code is that it's really good with existing projects understand your code base much better than any other ai coding agent so first let's just try to create an empty project and after that we can open augie in an existing project and then see that how augie performs in an existing project so i just gave it this command which was create a landing page for an ai tools directory so this is going to be a project from scratch all of these tools actually perform really well when it comes to creating a project from scratch so for now we are just like creating this project from scratch and in a minute we'll test this tool with an existing project and now you can see it has just created this project first it created this index.html file after that it created this style.css file and then it created all of this code for style.css file so this is the entire project structure that it created the first one is index html then style.css then script.js and then readme.md so let's just run this project and see that how it works so this is our project and you can see all of these different four files that it just created so i'll just open this index.html file and now you can see this is what it has created it's a standard landing page that any ai tool will create but yeah i mean it's uh, it's not that basic it's just good enough now let's just test augie with an existing project and see how it performs with an existing project so this is one of the projects that i created yesterday it was about streaming avatars like the talking avatars and you can see i created this project using augment code and now what i'll do i'll just like open augie and then like run this project using augie and then see what augie can do with this project so what i'll do i'll simply just right click click on this open in terminal and now what i'll do i'll simply just run this a u g g i e because augie is already installed on my computer and in here you can see now augie is indexing this project now project has been indexed so augment code has this indexing thing so even if you open the normal augment code extension it will index your project whenever you open any project it will index your project first and during that indexing it will understand that project so augie follows the similar practice and it indexes the project and now you can see our project has been opened and now i can just ask augie to create anything so this is the current interface of our project you can see i'm running this project locally and now i can simply just click on this connect avatar and now it will just like open an avatar it will just like create an avatar so this is our avatar so what i'll do i'll just ask augie to overall like create enhance the design the overall interface so what i'll do i'll simply just take a screenshot and ask augie to then enhance the design of this front end design so i'm just giving it this prompt which is please enhance the overall design and make it look more professional i'll just like give it a basic prompt and let's just see how it performs i'll press enter and now let's just wait for it to finish right now you can see augie is reading all of the current files it is understanding the project better 
and once it will finish reading once it will understand the current project after that it will like just start making the changings the way augie is working the way it actually performs any task is very similar to the way augment code actually works so augment code so augment code also first indexes the project and whenever you give it a task first it will understand first it will read all of the files and after it will understand the context then it will just like make the necessary changings whatever you have asked in that particular prompt so augie kind of works very similar to the augment code main extension so right now you can see augie is making these changings in code it has just removed a few lines of code and added these new code files inside this global.css so now after finishing the first task now it is automatically moving to the next task which is enhance the main layout with enhanced ui elements so for that it has just made some changings inside page.tsx file so let's just wait for it to make all of these changing once it will be done then we'll run our project again and then we'll see what sort of changings it has made after a few minutes and making changings in all of these different files in all of these different components there is this avatar selector.tsx all of these different components after making so many changings now it has finally finished writing code you can see this is the amount of changings that it has made and once everything is done now it has like presented this detailed report what it has done so let's just run this project the problem is we are having an error so this is the error is in global.css so this is not a cs error what i can do i can just copy this error from here and then go back to augie and then ask it to fix this error so now you can see it is fixing this error and it has already fixed it well the design looks more terrible now i mean it's more horrible than previous one but still like i mean it has made some changing let's just see if project is still functional so i simply click on this connect avatar and yeah so avatar functionality is working which means it did not change anything in the core functionality that's amazing so yeah that, that that's that's just cool it has just like updated and has this design we can now ask it further where one thing that it has actually done is it has like added these like animations inside each of these different ui components so now it looks more alive than previous so previously it was more static so now i think the way it is stretched the way whole design is stretched we can totally change that so for now you can see it has made these design changings i mean we can now further enhance it but for now it has just like made these design changings so yeah this tool is good enough i mean I, i'll still stick to the conventional way of using augment code or using something like line or row code or something like cursor i still love that ide experience and especially if we talk about augment code i still love that traditional experience of having it as an extension and then having it on side of my vs code so rather than having it like as a cli agent i think i i'll still i'll still prefer my, my traditional augment code experience so i hope you like this video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye bye